if you're doing this with me let's do it together let's go back to my youtube channel this is victoria from victoria tcs and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to pick the perfect bead size for every bead size you pick you need the perfect liquid to powder ratio you need the perfect liquid to powder ratio and this in turn will help you balance out the consistency that you need to pick up your beads. So we're going to be working with these two things, our liquid to powder ratio to get us our consistency for the bead that we're going to be picking. So there's a formula I use and the formula is one, two, three. I hope you can all see that. Two, 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 and three, two, one. What does this mean? So if you are going to be needing a big bead, you need a 1 to 3 ratio. If you are going to be needing a small, a medium bead, you need a 2 to 2 ratio. And if you are going to be needing a small bead, you need a 3 to 1 ratio. Now, what do these mean? It sounds so weird, but what do they mean? I'm going somewhere, follow me. Okay, so on this side, you have the number of taps you need to get your liquid. So, number of liquid taps. Get it? So, you have your number of liquid taps there. And on this side, you have your number of powder bounds. It sounds like we're doing math, but <laughs> we're not. So, on this end, so this one, two, three here is your number of liquid taps. So it means that for me to get a big bead, I'm going to need a liquid tap of one. For me to get a medium bead, I'm going to need a liquid tap of two. And for me to get a small bead, I'm going to need a liquid tap of three. Then um, on this end, we have number of powder bounds. So for me to get a um, big bead, I'm going to need a powder bounce of three. For me to get a medium bead, I'm going to need a um, powder bounce of two. And for me to get a small bead, I'm going to need a powder bounce of one. We are all still dealing with our liquid to powder ratio to give us our consistency. So let us um, try to put all of these into practice. Now, I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to bring in my powder and liquid okay okay so i'm going to be using this brush it's not a very big brush it's just a small brush basically and i'm going to completely saturate it in the liquid now let me show you guys this what you want is to completely remove the air bubbles from the brush you see that completely remove the air bubbles from your brush and this is your powder this is your liquid now let's put to test everything that we just learned okay so what I mean by one tap is just simply I go into my liquid remove all of the um, the bubbles in it and then when in getting my big bead I tap one so one tap you see that that's the meaning of number of liquid taps so I go in and I tap one time okay so now let's do this properly so I go into my liquid I'm trying to set this in a way where we can all see it hold on okay I think this is better fantastic yes okay so I go into my liquid and I tap one time. So number of liquid taps for a big bead is one. So one. And you can see I am not pressing and squeezing out all of the liquid. That's why it's called a tap. So you go in, remove all the bubbles in your brush and you tap 
one time okay so let's go again go one time and then you come into the powder and bounce three times one two three look at that do you see that one two three drop one two three release clean your brush do you see how big that bead is if i go in again using the same method i am going to get the exact same size of bead let's go again so remove your bubbles tap once one tap go in one two three come out one two three drop one two three release do you guys see that the exact same size of bead or pearl or whatever you call it i'm going to do that one more time before i move to the medium size um bead or pearl let's go again so tap once go in one two three come out tap one two three drop one two three release the reason why i tap one two three is because i want all the liquid to completely saturate the bead and the reason why i count one two three when i'm dropping is because i want the um, bottom of the acrylic to adhere properly to the nail do you understand exact same size of bead now let's move to our um let's move to our medium sized um beads so for that one according to the formula it says two to two right so we're going to be going in one two same slight tap going in one two come here bounce one two come out tap one two three drop one two three release can you see the difference between this and this like can you see the difference that's what you want okay let's go again Sorry, please um, ignore all the background noises. I'm trying as much as possible to shoot this without having to do a voiceover. So please pardon all the background noises. Let's go again. So number of taps, one, two, number of bounce. Wait, let me flatten this out. Number of taps, one, two, number of bounce, one, two, come out, one, two, three, drop one two three release exact same thing every single time i am so excited for you guys i can't wait to see what you guys will do with this now let's go again one two get in there one two come out one two three drop one two three release you see that do you see that ha <laughs> Now let's go to our small bead. Our small bead is what formula? Three, two, one. Yeah. So let's go in again. How many bounce? How many taps would that be? Three taps. Let me bring this into the frame. Three taps. So we go in one, two, three, and we come in one, and we come out one, two, three. We drop one, and you can immediately see the difference. Do you understand? We go in again. One, two, three. Come in here. One. Come out. One, two, three. Oh, that fell right off. Mistakes happen. So let's go again. One, two, three. Come in here. One. Come out. One, two, three. Drop. One, two, three. Release you can see the difference in these three sizes do you see that look at that the difference in these three sizes so that is how you pick your um your big bead your medium bead and your small bead so what i will do now is i'll just do it one more time on this line for you guys to see how um it goes so let's do this one more time if you're doing this with me let's do it together let's go big bead one tap one one let me flatten this out so big big one tap one one two three 
then you come out one two three drop one two three now might i add this fact that your count is not very fast so it's not like you're going one one two three you come out and you drop like look at that is just a mess do you understand look at this compared to this do you understand you will end up having a runny bead that's just legit flowing everywhere Johnston, so you need like a clay like consistency. If you saw my last video where I showed you how to um, build out an acrylic nail in three steps, I mentioned the clay like consistency. I like working with the clay like consistency. So um, we go tap once, then you go one, two, three, and you go one, two, three, and you drop one, two, three, you release okay now let's go again with the medium one one two you go in one two you come out one two three you release one two three you drop okay and then the small one one two three and you go in just once one and you come out one two three and you drop one two three release are we done together so I hope that this um, video has been very, very helpful and beneficial to you guys. And I hope when you guys practice it, I get to see it. Tag me on my socials. I get to see it. And yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. If this was helpful, give this video a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. And do not forget to leave a comment on if it was helpful to you. Okay? See you in the next video. Bye, guys.